Hello everybody, Heather the Bard here. Welcome to my kitchen where all the great music happens. And today I'm here with my sweet tone C. And I wanna talk about playing basics. So first of all, the biggest thing, given that this is a wind instrument, is how do we control our breath? We control our breath, firstly, with good posture. What is good posture? You sit up nice and straight, shoulders, neck relaxed, none of this slouching thing. I see a lot of musicians who they tend to want to slouch. When you slouch, look at, look at how much space I've got right here with my lungs and my chest. If I'm slouching, it immediately compresses your lungs so that you can't get as much air in. Um, you want to sit up nice and straight. You also want to breathe into your belly and into your diaphragm, which is in your lower abdomen. When we breathe and we're taking relaxed, easy breaths, we don't go, <sighs> our shoulders don't move up and down, our chest expands, and then our chest contracts. I hear a lot of yoga practitioners and teachers today talking about Breathe into your pelvis. That is wonderful imagery for activating your diaphragm. Pretend like you are breathing in, down into the lowest part of your abdomen that you can feel. And when you exhale, everything contracts and that diaphragm moves up to help keep a consistent, steady stream of air. Good breath control is having that consistent, steady stream of air. And that's going to help you a lot if you can practice that. Secondly is how you hold the instrument. Given that this is an open hold instrument, you want to pay special attention to keeping the fleshy pad of your finger over the hole so that you get a nice seal. If you aren't getting a nice seal on the holes, it's going to make the instrument squeak or it, notes will not sound cleanly and it'll just be more difficult for you to play. So you want to pay special attention to how you are sealing those holes. The other thing is with the tin whistle, it's not standardized. If you want to hold it with your right hand on top instead of your left, there are players that play that way. Whatever is comfortable for you. I'm a big advocate of ergonomics when it comes to holding your instrument because you have to be comfortable. If you aren't comfortable and things are hurting when you're holding your instrument, it's gonna make you less likely to practice. Also, our bodies are built individually and we've all had different histories of injuries or mishaps or things like that. And that affects how our muscles function, how our bones are, are set in, in our bodies. And that can, in some instruments, that can be a big issue with how to hold your instrument comfortably so that you aren't fighting yourself. If you're fighting yourself, it makes it 10 times harder to learn something. You don't want to be fighting yourself. The nice thing about the tin whistle is it's a very straightforward instrument. So whichever hand feels comfortable on top, it's up to you. Um, make sure you're getting a nice good cover on those holes. And when you play, you can hold it pretty much any anywhere this way you want to. I would say to avoid holding it really close like this because in my personal experience, anytime I'm holding it like this, that puts me in that cramped mindset that makes me automatically want to contract and, and cover in and, and uh, uh, it will compress my lung capacity. So I would avoid holding it really close. But you can hold it anywhere out here that's comfortable. You know, these arms, they're, they're nice and relaxed. They're floating there. You don't need to be death gripping your tin whistle. It's not going to fall. Um, and so just everything's nice and relaxed as you're holding it. and you basically sigh into the instrument. Um, the tin whistle, the air requirements are so minimal in comparison to other woodwinds. Um, 
you don't have to put a lot of pressure behind your airstream to get it to make a nice, clear, clean sound. Um, but as you as you sigh your air in into the tin whistle, feel that diaphragm come up. Feel your lungs kind of fall back in on, on themselves as you pre push the air out. And then when you take a breath, feel everything fill back up again and Great exercises for developing consistent, solid breath control and getting comfortable with your instrument. Number one is long tones. Do just what I did. Pick a note and practice feeling where your fingers need to be to get a nice seal. And then take a nice proper breath and It might be a little bit boring after a while. Challenge yourself to see how long you can hold a nice, solid, consistent tone. And just pick different notes. If you're getting squeaking, check your fingers first. That is the first big challenge that beginners will face is making sure that they're getting a nice seal. So if you're experiencing any squeaking, any weird noises coming from your instrument, check where your fingers are and then just practice your air. Um, tin whistles don't take a whole lot of air. A lot of beginners will try to overblow, which is where you're producing too much air for the note that you're trying to play. Just experiment. See how much air you can push through the instrument before it changes octaves. See how little you can put through it and still get a nice clean sound and then find, find the middle ground in there. Um, the other th big exercise, number two, is scales. Scales are the building blocks of all of our music system here in the Western world. And it's a great way to get comfortable with your instrument before you start tackling tunes and music. So just practice. And the thing about that is the challenge in doing a scale is that open fingering. That is where a lot of beginners will experience anxiety and insecurity. It's like, oh, I'm taking all my fingers off my instrument. I might drop my instrument. A uh, little tip, you can plant your pinky on your lower hand right there to give added support. Or you can also leave this finger down and you won't notice that on, a t on the tuner. With the way the instrument's pitched, you can leave that finger down and you're not going to you're not going to hear a difference in it and that'll also give you added stability between that your thumbs and your mouth on the mouthpiece to hold it so those are basics of how to play the tin whistle again um, i'm heather the bard if you have any questions drop them in the comments and if you enjoy this video series that i'm doing and would like to see more music lessons in the future please consider supporting me on patreon that is patreon.com slash Heather the Bard. Or you can also upvote and like my videos on Steemit, which is steemit.com slash at sign Heather the Bard. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Happy playing.